fun fact is that I do enjoy climbing and uh, spend a lot of time in the mountains. Uh, you see the picture behind me of Kilimanjaro there. <laughs> That's a, that was a, obviously a great trip. A fun fact that always comes up around here is the fact that I used to have long hair down the middle of my back when I first started here. We in the crosshairs yet? I'm Gordon Clark and I'm one of the uh, principals here. Uh, so I'm Chris Chow, I'm the architectural project manager. So we are mainly focused on public projects, public sector. I've worked on mostly municipal projects. I do almost exclusively healthcare. They're a practice-based practice, like they're really focused on their craft. And um, it just makes um, the the creativity and the the um, joy of the process so undiluted. But, uh, for instance, with our law enforcement and police facilities, uh, we're very good at it. But at the same time, we don't just sit there and say, "Well, we can walk over to the uh, computer and pull up a drawing of what your what your project is." We're too tied to being driven to do better, to give our clients more. Uh, no, if I had to say anything about university, it's just, you know, it's a great group of individuals who care about what happens in the city and what happens around in Utah. And, and uh, we do our best to, in our profession to make life better for everyone around us. I'm Devin Lujan, I'm a civil engineer in our Farmington office, and I've been working with JRCA our new Salt Lake office for about six years now. The way we market and kind of the full spectrum delivery just be taken up um, exponentially from where it was before. Um, it's been great. Everyone has been so awesome to work with. Is there will be just that much more synergy and focus on how do all these disciplines come together to achieve, you know, amazing outcomes for our clients. I would say that as important as anyone's technical skills and qualifications when we hire or when someone becomes a part of this organization, it's really how they fit in. Uh, most of our hires, most of the people that have joined our, that are actually have come to us through a reference of, of an existing employee. My neighbor, um, he said he was looking for someone, I was looking for a job. And we said, let's try it out. And I'm like, okay, great. And, and what that's done for us is I think we have a, a group of people here. They all get along. And that's probably one of the things I love most is that, you know, we do barbecues and we, you know, we'll all go out to lunch and we'll walk down the street and get lunch together. And it's just really great. I love the people here. They're like some of my best friends. I, uh, I always think of us as like a big family. But not a family that disagrees. <laughs> um, just the, the environment and the people to work with. There's just like that mutual understanding, mutual respect. But honestly, everyone there is just so human and so um, personable. Uh, when we went over to Denver and uh, we saw, I don't know if I remember the names, but there was a project manager and electrical engineer. And the band that they had back and forth, it was, it's similar to like me and Jonathan. I was sitting next to Chris. We kind of looked over like, okay, this is a good thing. <laughs> we, we have things like that too, where we banter across all the time. I think it's important that people enjoy coming to work, and that's what that's. <laughs> you know, part of what makes it fun is that you're doing a good job, and you're satisfied, and you're happy with what you're doing. And um, so I think it's. You know, that's the, that's what we try to make sure happens here.